Oh, he's gonna raise hell in the next few years. Take after his mama. <laughs> yeah, you know, same old same up here. But, um, things are getting pretty tense. Like they're fixing to uh, collide, you know what I mean, Jimmy? There's a potential uh, situation. I found our access to the infirmary building, but I'm going to need some time to make it work. How much time? Enough for me to find my way up a 20-foot vertical drain pipe without using a ladder. I'll probably need to skip PI tomorrow if I want to get this thing done. You can't just skip it. It ain't class. What if one of the bulls decided to drop out? Well, I don't have a choice, do I? Once we get through the pipe below the guard room, it'll be a whole lot easier. I can come and go without using the door, and with Westmoreland as a lookout, we'll have one more man available for digging. Westmoreland's gonna be a problem. All seven of us can't break over that wall in 18 minutes. You said it yourself, it's impossible. Listen, man, I'm telling you, one of us has gotta take a hike. I know. Mind if I share that with the rest of the class? Apparently, college boy here did the math. Figured out that we got too many clowns in the car. So one of us is in here digging, but his seat ain't guaranteed. How's this your problem, man? He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm not gonna dig if I'm not gonna go. We need to make a decision on who gets cut. Well, I think we all can agree that should be right. Oh, pardon me for interrupting. <laughs> But, uh, what's that smell? It smells a little like conspiracy. We need to get back to work. Yeah, before you do, I have an announcement to make. I've been growing leery the way y'all talk, like I'm a lesser man. So I bought an insurance policy. I called up my guy on the outside and I told him about our plan. And I told him in all likelihood I'll be seeing him next week. But if he don't hear from me five minutes before the escape and 20 minutes after, I told him to call up the warden, blow the whistle on the whole thing. So if you all got ideas about getting rid of me, I suggest you make other plans. Son of a bitch has got a counter move for everything. Not for this. Odd man out. Me and you. What do you mean? Look who you walking with right now. You should be up there, calling the shots with the rest of the suits. Yeah? So? So? You know, Schofield is only here for one reason. His brother. And he only needs two things. The old man's money and the mob boss's plane. He don't need you. He just happened to be in the same cell when he got here. <laughs> you in the toilet. I've done a lot of work on this thing. Exactly. And me too. Yo, we just the damn laborers on this thing, man. And the night that fish goes into that hole, you think he wants to carry all that extra baggage? Because that's all we are. I don't know about you, but I'm going. <laughs> How much does he tell you anyways? Or does he keep it all to himself? Yeah, he probably tells you. The less you know, the better, right? You don't know what you're talking about. He tells me everything. If he tells you everything, then you don't need him. Now we can go by ourselves. Me and you. Or, you know, you can wait and see if Schofield really wants to carry heavy weight. <laughs> it's up to you, Bobby. Yo, still waiting. What for? I swiped you that watch, man. Where's my PI? That's not gonna happen. You promised. I said I'd think about it. Maybe somewhere down the road. Yeah, ain't gonna hold my breath. <laughs>